Okay, I think I can see what Dave's talking about, because um, it definitely flies differently as I change the value, but the oscillations there are kind of mucking things up. So normally he says on his that he holds the bottom with his hand, which of course I can't do with this copter. So I've taped a, a uh, fiberglass pole to the bottom of it so I can use that as my hand, sort of to give it a little bit of stability and maybe some tactile feedback. I forgot to mention I do have some weight on the bottom. There's about for 540 grams of weight in each one of those cans of mother, uh, which you know is a little over a kilo, which is about what I want to carry with it. So I thought I'd tune it with a little weight on there. So let's see how we go now that now that I have the hole in my hand and I can play with it a little bit more. We'll just arm it and off we'll go. That's the maximum setting. I don't know. It's getting oscillated though. Let's turn it down a bit. Yeah, that feels better. Look how it stays. Ooh, nice. We'll just go down a little bit more. Maybe give it some more throttle. Oscillating a little. I give it a push. Yeah, yeah, see it's freaking out. So turn it back up. That's about where I was before. Let's see if it did it better now. Yeah. See it. The handle's moving a little bit better. Definitely see what they're talking about now. That's good about there. Pretty nice. Much better than that. Look at that. Well, that was a much better experiment. I think I found a P rate that I like, and that P rate ends up to be, let's just have a quick look. I'm still waiting for it to come up. It's, uh... .17. So we'll just leave the... the P right roll, or the right roll P, at .17 for now, and now we'll go on to adjusting the D. E? Yes. Or maybe it's I. I'll have to read. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. Just a second.